Have you ever looked at tigers, leopards, zebras, and more and just wondered, hey, what's up with those spots, Doc? Well, you've come across the right person, as I'm here to tell you why animals have stripes and spots, and what they're used for. Stripes and spots are physical characteristics that are adapted by certain animals during evolution. Often they serve a specific purpose with not all sharing the same. Bringing it down to the basics, animals gain the pigmented patterns of spots and stripes due to evolution. Natural selection results in animals best suited to survive to produce offspring, and hence the first ancestor to produce an advantageous pattern would survive and thus reproduce. Once producing an offspring, the adults passes down their genetic coding and eventually the trait becomes widespread and adopted amongst the population. Now, the most common reason we all know animals to have stripes and spots for is for camouflage. The utilization of stripes and spots for camouflage is mainly a carnivore trait, particularly in the big cats. This includes tigers, snow leopards, jaguars, cheetahs, and common leopards, amongst many others. The adaption of these patterns assists in filtering sunlight and shadows in order to not be spotted by prey, especially if they live in a sunny environment. Although other times, if you look at something like a snow leopard, their pattern directly allows them to camouflage within their rocky environment. I mean here, I'll throw up a little image and I want to see if you can spot the leopard. I'll give you five seconds. Now, if you found it, well, congrats. Uh, if you didn't, well then you'll end up being its dinner. But clearly, this allows predators to be successfully hidden from their prey, and well, it would increase their chances of successful hunts. As they stalk their prey undetected, they can get as close as they possibly could before making the first move. A lot of you may have wondered, why didn't I mention the zebra? I mean, it's literally covered in stripes. However, recent studies have cast a doubt amongst the relationship between zebra stripes and camouflage. This is after a large research effort took place in Africa where the results found a minimum correlation of zebra stripes and lion populations, but rather they found a much stronger correlation between zebra stripes with the temperature and precipitation of an environment. It's hypothesized that the black stripes of the zebra assist in heating up in the morning while the white stripes deflect light and assist in remaining cool during the peak of the sun. There's also evidence that stripes assist in the zebra being protected from flies and fleas. This is because scientists have discovered that biting flies which show a preface for warmer weather tend to avoid landing on surfaces which have stripes. The increased occurrence of stripes in regions with higher temperatures might serve as a natural protective mechanism against these bothersome insects. However, I do want to preface by stating the zebra cooling theory isn't smackdown confirmed, but rather, as I said, just a theory. There are still scientists that theorize that the zebra stripes are either used for camouflaging in the tall grass or to confuse predators with their complex patterns as they run away from an attack. There's also discussion by scientists that patterns assist in social interaction within a species. For example, it's hypothesized that the rings around a lemur's tail or the body of a clownfish assist in them identifying each other. The unique stripe patterns might play a role in social recognition and communication within the group. Different species exhibit variations in their stripe patterns which could assist in identifying individuals within the same group. Furthermore, stripes and spots and other patterns can be used by animals to mimic others. For example, the Scarlet King Snake almost looks exactly the same as the East Coral Snake. What's the difference between the two, you may ask? Well, the difference is that the Eastern Coral Snake has potent venom, but it can be fatal. Having this similar pattern means that the King Snake is less likely to be predated on due to having a near indistinguishable pattern from a venomous snake. It's likely that its ancestors found success in having the same pattern and environmental pressures force those snakes to reproduce and pass on the similar pattern. I mean, when you think about that, nature is just fascinating. I mean, to conclude, animals use their spots and stripes for a number of reasons, whether for camouflage, interaction, confusion, and well, many more. It's amazing how the selective pressures causes the adaption in these animals. And well, I wonder what the future will hold in store for them. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you all next time. See ya.